Hello everyone, we're back with some more Fate Grand Order with the Seraph event, also known as the Fate Extra CCC event. When we last left off, the Wang died. We lost him. It was the end of Act 3 and an unknown perpetrator, probably Edgemia, killed him. And now, thinking back on it, I actually remember reading like some of the summaries of this event. Like, hardly any, like... I think it was only this one, and I remember, or maybe I was just reading people talk about it or something. I remember people talking about someone getting killed at the church, and everyone thinking it was Edgemia. That was this! Kind of nostalgic. That was two years ago. So we're on the backside, it looks like we're going to be fighting Suzuka. With the Saber, I say it's pretty likely. And Melrealist is down to level 65 now. So let's bring a uh, Archer. Yoga Mush is good. Uh, Emiya? I mean, I guess we have to. We don't have any better archers. Or, oh yeah, we have Koryo, but I haven't leveled her up to max yet. I don't know what her uh, leveling spike is, so... Let's bring an archer out. Right. We can bring Koryo out here, I guess. I haven't leveled my Nobu up. Like, what is she, like 60? I need to. Yeah, look. Oh, I have Oyash. Yeah, I leveled Oyash. I always forget because, you know, the level 60s are a lot, like, below everything. I could bring him for some damage. Mm. Yeah, let's do it. Let's switch out Hans for Oyash. Give him, like, a kaleidoscope. Or really, he just needs a uh, waiver and his uh, third skill. He just needs that. Okay. The Sinking Beauty. Not a ballet reference that time? Or maybe it is... In a, oh! Straight to battle? Okay. Are we not fighting Suzuka then? Or... Who knows? I got enough uh, Sakura money. Sakura meant, sorry. To unlock the next gate. I looked up where some of the keys are. I think there's one for every chapter of Act 4. So, like, I need one for the next one, the one after that, and then the final one, too. Which is kind of annoying. I think I have enough for one, maybe two. So yeah, we're straight about battle. Going's dead. This might be the most um, emotional response, like the biggest emotional response I've ever gotten from Big Grand Order. Aside from the time I spent a lot of money and didn't get X servant. I'm trying to think of times I've spent money and didn't get anyone. Uh, like, I've spent money on this game a couple times. The only time I spent more than a hundred was. I'm trying to. I, I spent one hundred at least once. I feel like twice. I know for a fact I spent more than a hundred to get Kiara. I will never give out the real figure of how much I spent, but it's more than I'm proud of. Uh. We might use our Ash to clear wave two. We'll see what it looks like. Should have used Wavy's defense buff there. Okay, let's see. And nah. Well, actually, we don't have any riders or anything, so it'll take a while to clear. Oh, even better, we use Gilgamesh. Wait, does he have his interlude yet? Nope. Let's use this then. I'm probably overestimating Stella, but <laughs> I mean, maybe we'll be able to overcharge it. Oh, this is our first time seeing Anima Elish since the update. It's one of the cooler updates. Let's we actually see the normal phantasms. Since there's no way I'm playing a turn 
in one time speed. Okay, let's see what it is. It's Fatal Battle. Oh, it's, it's just Caesar. Can we get to Overture? Yes, we can. Exactly enough. Well, technically, if we had one less, we would also get it there, but... Like, okay. How much do you think this will do? I don't know. Was that a hundred thousand this easy or Yeah, okay, nice. I've hardly ever used a rush, so it's always nice to see him actually be useful. Like, do I even have him at level sixty on the Japanese server? I don't have him at at least fifty because his strengthening strengthening quest. Back in the day I had every servant that had a strengthening quest. Up to, uh, like, you know, their final ascension so I can do it. But now I have a bunch of servants that don't have it. I'm like, eh. I even have one or two that I have just haven't done the strengthening quest. Like, I know Shiki got one. I need to get around to doing it. There's two other ones I don't have. Basically, if it's a servant I use, I'll do it right away, but I haven't used Shiki in a while. Ever since they got, uh, Jack and Shooten. But apparently the updated Shiki made her like really good. Because she was already like a top tier four star. And then they buffed her normal phantasm, so She's also probably my favorite four star assassin to use. I don't like using Kyutsugu or uh Skahawk Assassin. I'm trying to think of other ones that uh, Carmelo, like I actually have a Noble Phantasm 5, but well, so much for wondering if there's still any servants left on the hero side. You must have been a pretty smooth talking hero to have lasted this long. Too bad for him that this kitty knows better than to take the obvious bait. I feel like cunning is too cunning to fall to for any get rich quick schemes. Sorry, Caesar. Your fate was sealed the moment you brought up exchange rates to a cat. <laughs> Why did we skip this scene? You did great, cat. It was really educational to see how you used your claws. Huh? Yes, my paw power lip. If you think that was impressive, you should see how I cook. Huh? You can cook, cat? Cat, time for spirit origin number two. She gonna switch to the apron. Well, if you insist, I guess I'll just have to show you. Tamamo, it's made morph in time. I hate it. That's right. I picked up every one of the domestic skills that Tamamo no Mai dropped into that river. My devoted wife is what I am. Basically, with the sole exception of chopping onions, anything I make can do, I can do too. Why not chopping onions? Don't worry if your hands are a little on the large side, Lip. That's a gift all on its own. Not to mention though, my cutting up eggs super easy. And I write tutelage. How do you say that? Tutelage? Tutelage? I've, tried, I've heard people say it before, but... Huh. You'll be a first-rate chef in... Okay, maybe that's too much to hope for. But a 2.5 rate chef is totally a possibility. What do you say? Are you up for it? Absolutely. Please allow me to train under you, Master Cat. Ha ha ha! Then I think I'll take a carrot as a reward. Welcome to Hell's Kitchen! Benny and my style, oh, hey! Is that... Is that a reference to Benny and Ma's tale? Or did they just make Tamamo Cat say that and two years later they're like, Hey, let's make an event about that. Because all I know is they release Benny and mine, and it's like a cooking competition or something. You look like you're enjoying this. I am. It's rare for Lip to speak up without worrying about what other people might think. At first I thought your choice to let Tamamo Cat join us instead of killing her was terrible. Was it was a terrible, terrible mistake. But now, I'm almost glad you did it. I can never make Lip smile like that myself. Ooh, I'm picking up some happy ores over here. What you talking about, Melt? Edge me out, why don't you give us some space? This alter this is alter ego only time. You can stay though, Master. What about you, Tomamo? Hang on, what did you just say? Alter ego only? You mean you're one of us? Well of course I am. I'm one of the Tomamo nine that split off from my sworn enemy, Tomamo no Mai. Oh, I okay, I guess. In other words, an alter ego. Maybe with a little berserker thrown in, but still. 
Stop that. Just shut up. I didn't need to know that. So you really hadn't noticed, Tom Mount. It's true. Cat's basically the same as us. Just who are the Tomamo Knight anyway? Of course, I was originally created with the intent of fighting the Sakura Five, but it's way too much exposition to get into right now. Like, it could fill up its own RPG level exposition. A curse cr crazy cat RPG. I'll play it. Or you'll just have to find some other way to learn about that. I gotta say, though, even though you two are sisters, don't you think you're both seriously unbalanced? I get that Lip is all chesty and punchy and Mount is all leggy and kicky, but even taking that into consideration, your personalities are wildly different. Well, of course. I was based off of BB's aggressive personality, and Lip was based off of her defensive one. In other words, I embody torment and true suffering. I am most alive when I'm hurting my victims. Lip is the complete opposite. She's got a very she's got very sensitive skin, so just the slightest bit of damage is enough to send her reeling. I like how even though her silhouette is like faded, they changed her expression. Her reactions are so extreme that she inadvertently provokes others into wanting to torment her, even if they're not normally like that. You should try it yourself if you ever get the chance, Horsey. You'll, you'll start with just a little tap, but before you know it, you'll be beating your soul severely that people will be staring in horror. Uh, that's not true. Besides, Horsey would never bully anyone. Yep, Master may like to tease, but she's a good egg. So, Mel, what do you mean when you said you and Lip are opposites? My sense of touch is really dull, especially my hands. Fingers are meant for feeling things, right? But while I can move mine okay, I can't feel my own body warmth, or anybody else's. That's why I have no choice but to thrash my opponents. I can't really feel my own joy very well, so it's only when I see how much pain I'm causing someone else that I truly feel alive. I have to dominate them, to thrash them into a state that only I can see, to make them beg at my feet. feet. But that's the point when I can finally understand what it feels like to love someone. Isn't that kind of a hassle? Hardly. Have you ever seen me embarrass myself in battle, even once? That said, I guess there are some parts of daily life that are a little, little less perfect. Since my fine motor control isn't the greatest, I'll never be able to assemble my own model kits. <laughs> Alright, no more pointless shit chat. This is the good goes in the only side no left on this side, Mount Earless. Yes, I don't know which area she's using for her temple, but I can make a pretty good guess. The very center of Seraph, the spine. She's also probably been given the strongest karma phage, so she's definitely the one in charge of the gear side. Beating her will definitely open up a new route. And I'll head for the back next. Oh, and by the way, horsey. If you're going to take on another sentinel, you should play along with BB's game. The key to her heart, was it? That shouldn't negate the karma phage's effect. And you don't need to, because we can't beat a sentinel like her in a normal servant battle. It's going to be another hell of a maiden coaster. It may have hurt like the Dickens, but at least those bullets were enough to get rid of mine. Any woof? It's always best to defeat your opponent without killing them. You definitely should do that. First we beat her in battle, then we beat her in her strength of character. That's just what the fake fox deserves. Huh? Do you and Susika goes and know each other, cat? You sound like you have some kind of history. Don't be ridiculous! I don't know that fox fox. When I'm done, she and her pointy ears won't know what hit him. Anyway, although I guess I kind of understand what it is she cares so much about. Master, make sure you break that fox's spirit, okay? I'll take it from there. Okay, I was kind of hoping that would be a bit longer to make one episode out of it, but... Guess not. We'll be doing the next one. Oh, you did a couple missions. You got a quartz? Cool. Okay, Suzuki's key has been added. Gate key has been added. Okay. Might as well get that. Phone better not crash. The mission list has been very... Oh. Oh no, okay, okay. So we're not fighting Suzuki just yet? Or we're not doing a real battle of Suzuki just yet? Or... Something along those lines. It's just been added to the story for now. Oh, we unlocked a new note. I get nice. The Sinking Beauty, and we're Caster and Archer. Uh. 
So, cast room mainly. Hold on. Just bring Ozzy. Uh, nursery rhyme? Hans? Could be Robin Hood. Not, I doubt it. Just bring Vlad, I guess? Could be another Philly fight. Switch you out for Passion Limp. Switch you out for Vlad. Uh, who knows? Hey guys, my phone crashed. You're, you know the drill. Hold on, I moved my mic back. Let me move it up. Okay. Singing Beauty 2 out of 4. We're almost done. We have like... So, okay. Another filler fight then. I actually like that we got to see a bit more of Melt Realist and Passion up there. They needed a kind of scene like that. Maybe they'll get another one too. The, you know, a scene that's both kind of like exposition and like character. Uh, just showing their character, I guess. It's probably a term for it, but I can't think of it. And be strength now. Oh, that sucks. So yeah, there's the end of Act Four. I think there's one like act, like one quest after that, and then the boss fight, and then the epilogue. So like three videos left, min at the minimum, maybe more, maybe less. And then I know some of the quests afterwards have story content, but I don't know if I'll be doing those or not. Maybe, maybe not. I'll at least go through to the epilogue where I get BB. But after that, it's mostly just like comedic effect stuff. I, I assume at least. I don't know if there's any lore in there or not, but I mean, it's nasty. Of course there's lore in there, but <laughs> there's any important lore in there or, you know, any story elements or whatever, but We'll see, basically. And also, the troubling part is I don't know which ones have story. Which ones are just fights and, you know. Which makes it a huge hassle. So, yeah, probably won't be doing those, but eh. Yeah, so after the CCC event, I'll just be going back to doing Shinjuku. Which I've been wanting to read. Uh, but, you know, this is more important since it's time limit. And that'll be like once a week, give or take. Maybe a bit more often once I get to a part where like, oh hey, Needle Christ. Hey, Needle Christ of the Sky. Let's go and do this. Probably should have done that Ozymandias Buster card second instead of third, but doesn't matter. See, so yeah, like I've said before, I'm not gonna do Agartha. Like, part of it is because I want to cool down from Grand Order content on my channel. Another part of it is I've heard it's awful. Or at least, like, I don't think it's like. Realm level, which a lot of people like to hate on. Like, I thought Realm was just like mediocre. I didn't think it was bad, just nothing to write about. It's like, and that's the only part of the main story that I think is that just like it's the worst part of the main story, definitely. Like, what other parts like Fuyuki, I guess. There's Nothing special there, but at the same time, like, it's not supposed to be. I, I actually liked Orleans whenever I read it. A lot more than I was expecting to. I just kind of figured all the story before, like, Okeanos or London would just be kind of just like, eh. Like, it goes there. But Orleans is actually pretty fun. I still remember a couple scenes from it, like, uh... The Knight Mozart talk? Which, if I still remember a, a scene in Grand Order after two years, then that means it, that's a good thing because 
there's only like two or three scenes from each singularity that I really like remember in detail. This is where the passage ends. The next part leads to the spine. The only problem is we need another gate key. Dang it, we don't have time for this. Hasn't BB been enough of, a, of an obstruction already? Yes, we'll just have to play along. The meaning to ask, what is Sakura meant? Sakura manages Seraph's version of QP. It's only called that because BB changed his name. You can think of it as a kind of ex excess magical resource floating around Seraph. Usually, there won't be any need to go out of your way to collect so much of it, so you've been giving BB magical energy. But for BB, it's kind of like a storing food for the winter, or, another, or a secret nest egg. So what happens if we don't collect it? Does it get absorbed back into Seraph? Uh, it might get used if Seraph's resources got really low, but generally, it will disappear on its own. I see. So we're basically collecting resources that will turn into trash if we leave them alone. Kind of sounds like embezzling. Maybe we must be hoarding this stuff so it doesn't get used by Seraph. Hello, hello, it's I this is Arnold. Do you read me? Why are you all wasting your time? What do you mean we're on our way? Why are you all wasting your time there? Huh? I don't know the church can set transmissions like this. All right? I had trusted bringing this equipment back from the command room. It was a calculated risk. I can't afford to sit around doing nothing. You may be a master horsey, but you're still young. You like proper command experience, and you don't know anything about seraphics. So it falls to me to step up, fill the void in our command structure, and give you orders. Send Arnold back to Caldea. He'll be the new Yeoman. Like, not nearly as good as Yeoman. But he'll step up and have character development. You and your, your personnel clearly can't handle this on your own. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Arnold was so scared that I felt I had to, um, encourage him, and I guess I ended up doing too good of a job. I'm so sorry. Shut it, Mabel. Sitting around all day and eating up all of our food, you're even more useless than before. Listen up, Horsey. From now on, you do as I say. I mean, mm. You're in the underarm now, right? You'll proceed to the back area immediately. According to my measurements, you should be able to reach the back from there. Once you do, turn Seraph back over and you should find yourself beneath the command room. In other words, at the planetarium you mentioned. I happen to have a map of Seraphics here, you see. You should be impressed. This map doesn't cover the entire facility, but by correctly measuring each area and combining these measurements, I discovered an empty space right in the middle. How do you like them apples? Hey, Arnold's useful. Thanks, Arnold. Wait, didn't we already know that? It's far from new information. That guy really is just another cog in the machine, isn't he? At any rate, I want you out of the underarm ASAP. Got it? Report back here once you're taking care of the Sentinel. According to my calculations, the graphics will reach the bottom of the trench in 15 year world minutes, or 25 hours for us. That will allow you some time to rest. Also, be aware that I'll be accompanying you, accompanying you to the planetarium. I'll exp expect your full report, which should all be good, good news soon. Do not fail me. Uh, for the record, it was me who did the measurements and figured out how they figured out the remaining time, you know. <laughs> well, this sucks. That nitwit playing and being in charge is just gonna make our lives harder. He may be kind of a pompous guy, but he's still he's right. Pardon my French. What do you mean, kind of? You treated the Dorsey like she's just one of his flunkies. Is that a term, flunky? Technically, he does outrank me. No, 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 I won't let him do that. Just you wait. I'm gonna squeeze some sense into him later. You're gonna kill him? <laughs> Don't lump. In your case, you'd be squeezing a lot more out of him than you would into him. You may have grown up a bit, but you're still kind of an airhead when it comes to your own strength. No, I'm not. You're the airhead for even saying that. Okay, fine. I'm an airhead then. Tell you what, we'll bring him to the most dangerous place in Seraph and leave him there overnight. If he's still alive in the morning, you should have some appreciation for just what an insignificant spec he is. Any human can be useful once they've learned a little humility. You remember that, Lip? What is it, Horsey? What's with that stupid look? You two are really close, aren't you? No question mark. Well, I guess you could say aren't you without making it a question. Is that how it looked to you? And our communication tools must be great in great working order. Not too long ago, Lip and I only saw each other as rivals. All we BB born alter egos can think only about ourselves. <laughs> That's true. Remember how Melt always used to pick on me, and I always used to wish someone would come along and beat her up. And now look at us. We used to be monsters with no understanding of anything but ourselves and our own love. 
But then one day, we met a human who accepted us as we were. Neither Melter nor I would have come this far without them. Before, I used to wish I could become human myself. Now I understand that's impossible. But that's okay, because we can, and want to, still be on their side. Even if we can never be the same kind of life form, there's no reason we can't support each other. Sometimes I envy you, Lip. I wish I could think about things that simplistically. And this is just another way of calling me an airhead. You know my processing speed is just as good as yours. By the way... Are you hiding something, Mount Realist? Of course, didn't I say as much? I'm only using you so that I can come out on top in the end. So naturally, I'm gonna hide things, get more than I give, and refuse to tolerate humans. You still think you can trust me, or rather us, knowing all that? No! Right answer. After all, I don't yet know what's going to happen before this is all over either. Anyway, we finally made it this far. Only 88 servants left to go. At first this battle seemed hopeless, and I almost gave up more times than I can count. Oh, well, what else could I have done? Just forget how much I used to complain, okay? I swear, you're all bark and no bite. I told you that my processing power, thoughts, and performance were reset after I'd been rebooted. Still, I think that side of you may have been just what I needed. We alter egos are artificial beings made from our artificial being. There's no substance to us at all. The only way we can hold on to our sense of purpose is to cling to the emotions that were used to create us. We're like dolls that have to chop themselves up for firewood in order to keep warm. We're doomed to disintegrate the moment we were created. But you, you programmed me with a new sense of purpose. Even if you did it so by accident, or as part of a calculating scheme, I wouldn't have it without you. That's all the reason I needed to join you. I'm Mount Ellis, the alter ego of pleasure, a ballerina who dances for an audience of one. Me. Now that you've gone ahead and awakened this monster, Master, I may as well fulfill my part. Of course, there's no way I'll be able to beat the rest of the servants, so I'm counting on you to step up. Who is she talking to here? So, I'm assuming this scene takes place before she meets Gudiko here. And knowing what we've theorized, she is talking to alternate universe Guda O slash Gudiko. It's probably going to be the same gender because like th that just makes sense, but still. And, I mean, I guess that makes sense. And then something happened to them, uh, and then she wandered up and met Argutico, but, eh. I mean, given what we know, it makes sense, because the whole Gawain, Edgemi, and Tamamo camp being here doesn't make sense. It would rely on an alternate universe. Of Chaldea to be here. But. Question is what happened to them? Did they die? Did Are they imprisoned in the end somewhere? They're going to have like an epic battle. Where we kill Kiar with like 10,000 different versions of Chaldea. I mean uh, kill um the final boss. Whoever that is. <laughs> Am I sure you're okay with you as my master you ask? You should really have more confidence in yourself. There are only two types of humans I can stand. One is the type that never gives up no matter what, and just does whatever they can without being all gung-ho about it. Basically someone who tries to do the best they can all on their own. The other is the type that scrambles about, trying to turn every hopeless situation around, though everyone in their vicinity is caught up in it. I prefer the first type, though. They're much more elegant, after all. That said, sometimes you just have to enjoy good, loud, capricio? I don't know how to say that. Right? I think it's an Italian word. At least it looks like one. Besides, this is a cross-species collaboration. I don't mind doing things your way for a change. So we know they're a human. And if we use meta-reasoning, they wouldn't have Mount Ilyas act close to a human because of waifuism. 
Therefore, it could only be Hakuno or <laughs> Yuna. Oh. Case closed. I mean, it could be Hakuno. I don't think Hakuno ever shows up, but... That's entirely possible anyway, and it sounds more plausible than it being another universe's Gudako, but still, I don't know. Uh, okay, I don't want to risk my phone crashing again, so I'm just going to call it here. I'm going to go roll that ticket I just got. <laughs> and quartz if I have enough. So I'll see you guys next time. I'm going to do some grinding for today, get enough to finish Act 4 tomorrow, and yeah, I'll see you guys then. Bye.